I got a fish on the big bait, dude. Oh my gosh, no way. back to the channel guess what we have today an unboxing of a brand new Tranx by Shimano you guys this is going to be part of the ultimate swim bait setup we're putting together with a brand new rod we just purchased mojo bass swim bait rod by st. Croix let's go ahead head over to the store grab some line for this puppy showcase the whole thing talk a little bit about its specs and maybe even do some fishing with some big baits on this a little bit later in today's episode so now it's time for the mask let's get over to the store and grab some line Okay, rolling up to Academy. Let's see if they got what we need, man. Okay, Academy did not have what we need, so it is on to Dick Sporting Goods. All right, guys, so we are back at the house. Academy did not have what we need. We wanted 20 pound fluorocarbon. I went ahead and grabbed some Seaguar Ebrays X, some of the toughest stuff out there. And it is $35 per spool at Dick Sporting Goods Field and Stream Shop. Whoa. With that being said, we have got her spooled up. They actually spool it there if you buy the line there, so that's a plus. And she is looking dapper, man. Left-handed tranks. With that being said, this is the 201 HG, guys. Uh, so the 200 is the spool size. They offer a 300 spool size, which is very popular. Uh, I just wanted the smallest profile on this one for all day comfort throwing big baits. And so that is why we opted for the 200. Also, Devin has a 200. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of showcase some of these other reels and swim bait rods we have real quick before we set this one up. Devin has a 200 that we've had for a while, so we knew we liked that profile, but hers is right-handed. And I've been preferring lately left-handed reels. Uh, you know, I can kind of go back and forth between both, just depending on what I'm throwing. But uh, the left-handed is uh, definitely real comfortable in those hammer time hook sets that you gotta have whenever you're catching these uh, swim bait fish, especially those soft plastic swim baits. When you're throwing a big soft plastic swim bait, there's a lot of distance that you've gotta really push that plastic through to actually get the hook to penetrate into the bass's lip and secure that catch. So you really gotta hammer these things, drive it home, and I feel more comfortable setting the hook with my right hand versus my left oftentimes. So that is why I opted for the left-handed. Now given the left-handed is only offered in one uh, gear ratio, if I'm not mistaken, that's what it showed in the, in the case here, you can only get this in the HG, which is the 7-2 to 1. Now there's also the standard uh, gear ratio of like 6-2 to 1, or I shouldn't say standard, but the lowest. And I think uh, that's only offered in the right-handed as well as the XG which is like an 8-2 to 1 or something along those lines. So basically that means the spool on this one is spinning 7.2 times per full turn of the handle versus 8.2 or 6.2 full turns, which uh, it's actually translates into a certain amount of inches per crank. On this one, I don't know if it actually displays the number. Weird, I'm not seeing how much it brings in per crank. But let's just say anyways, using round numbers, 30 inches, right? If I were to crank this handle a full turn and let's say it brought in 30 inches at the 7 2 to 1 gear ratio maybe the high gear ratio the XG would bring in like say 32 or 33 inches and the lowest or slowest gear ratio would bring in you know 27 or 28 inches to this 30 so those aren't the exact numbers but you're not missing out on a ton of line but you are getting a little bit more torque and power out of those lower gear ratios which is why it's pretty common in swim baiting also the fact that you're crawling a lot of these big soft plastic swim baits down on the bottom is why a lot of folks would go with that uh, slower gear ratio to get the most power out of the reel but also you can uh, crank it fairly consistently and you're not going to be just burning that bait back in you want to really creep those swim baits down in the grass and things of that nature just kind of cruise them along the bottom so we've got the 200 we knew we liked it I wanted to get a left-hander because we had the right-hander that we bought at first this is the Tranks 400 and uh, it's a big honking reel to hold on to this thing all day is it's fine but honestly we bought this also knowing that we were gonna take the occasional trips and more in the future as the channel grows where we can use this for larger species and uh, saltwater use going after some big fish that are really gonna put up a fight where you need that extra line capacity and we plan on using this a lot for those types of adventures but just for everyday use, I wanted something a little bit more lower profile. Now, I went with 20 pound fluorocarbon. There's huge debate when you're throwing big swim baits as to whether you should use fluorocarbon or braid or braid 2 mono liter or braid 2 float, just all kinds of different 
uh, opinions on that and I'm not going to get into it. What I will say is uh, I went with 20 pound fluorocarbon. Some people will go down to 15 or 17 depending on the structure and the cover and their bodies of water and that is just entirely up to you. I like the peace of mind of 20. I'm not too worried about the fish in my area being line shy. Otherwise, I would have to taper it down a little bit and really trying to get those bites because they might see that line. And uh, you know, these fish get very smart, especially these older fish that are the ones you're targeting, these big trophy sized bass with your swim baits. You do really got to outsmart them a lot of times and be giving them the most realistic presentation. And it does come down to things like your line sometimes and missing those bites. My experience with braid is that when you do get a bird's nest, there's no stretch, okay? So let's say you're casting these swim baits very far. Far casts are always your friend with these big swim baits. You want to get out where the fish haven't seen your boat, your kayak, you on the bank, etc. And so you want to get way out there and have the longest retrieve with these big baits, most amount of time to bring in followers from a far distance. And so with braid, what that means is you make a far cast, and if you get a bird's nest halfway through the cast, which is less likely to happen with the SVS Infinity braking system, and if you've got your tension dialed in right, but let's face it, wind changes, you just whip it one time, you get a bird's nest, right? If that happens with braid, there's no stretch, and it's just gonna go doof, which means Oh, bye bye bait. Even even like this little soft plastic right here, which is two and a half to three ounces rigged. You tie this down with a good knot on some strengthened line and you should be fine, right? Well, when you go and you get a bird's nest and there's no slack and it just rips right at the knot, there's a very good chance you're gonna lose that bait. Even this one right here is worth about $65. You could cast off a $150 swim bait and once, so the strength component is very valuable, but the backlash thing is where I said, okay, I'm gonna go with fluoro, because if I get a bird's nest on a big swim bait with fluoro, there's a little bit of stretch to ease that pull and that force on your knot. So uh, not too much more to say at the house, to be honest with you. I'm just gonna go ahead and take off the SLX that I just put on there temporarily. While I was waiting on this reel to arrive, uh, we purchased it through Amazon, by the way, guys. I'm going to leave this link down in the description if you want to pick up a Tranks for yourself. And you don't just have to use this for swim baits, but the fact is, it is made for swim baits. It's got a slightly longer handle than even like my SLX right here, so you do have more torque. I mean, this thing is really just built overall for those big, heavy baits. So, And the color scheme is absolutely sick. I mean, this two-tone with high contrast, also this rod we'll talk to you a little bit about as we fish it, but I think we're just going to go ahead and get this thing rigged up and uh, maybe go do a little fishing with Ryan Rigged in the next 45 minutes. I think tonight I'm gonna throw a battle shad. Look at that. I got a fish on the big bait, dude. That's an absolute beast. I'm gonna get an owner flashy swimmer. 10 aught, half ounce. There we go. Now bend the body forward. Yubba dubba doo. Look at that. I mean, that is like, ooh, next to weedless, but the way I bent it up just a little bit. Ensures a better hookup ratio. Oh my gosh, goblin with an underspin. Okay, this is cool. Let's get this thing tied on with a Palomar knot and hit the freaking water. All right, man, we are here. Check us out. We have the Battle Shad 7.5 rigged up with an underspin. Oh my gosh, it looks devastating. Let's make the first official cast with the new swim bait combo, man. This is the 710 Heavy Power Fast Action 1 to 4 ounce chunkin mojo bass swim bait and a rig rod by st croix guys with a uh this is like next level 19 inch handle the thing is so sick for casting these big baits anyways first cast oh might need to dial in these brakes a little bit but let me tell you smooth 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 okay we tightened up the tension a little bit make sure that drag is cranked because it, it isn't I'm gonna need to hammer down on one of these hook sets, I'm sure. Yeah, that's tight. Loving this thing, man. But the first few casts, I'm still a little skeptical on just giving it a complete shoo, wallop way out there because it seems as though the brakes are a little loose. Let me go ahead and open the body up here. Oh yeah, it goes all the way up to six. So let me put it on five because there's internal brakes on the tranks, if I'm not mistaken, as well. Here, cast this one time. And this rod is off the chain, dude. Like, after Devin got it, I was so jealous. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I you gotta, gotta get one. I gotta get one. This yeah, dude, perfect. that's sweet, bro. Yeah. I'm like, come on, guys. Thank you, sir. Yeah, we live here. I just forgot the code. All right, I am gonna try and open this and see if there's an internal braking system to adjust, which I believe there is. Yeah, so they are applied when they're pushed in, I think. Oh, that's, nope, that's loose. They're off. 
Might not be throwing the big bait anymore tonight. This is what happens when you backlash your reel because you thought you knew what you're doing with your brake system. This is why you, you learn when you watch my vlogs. I always say this, man. I'm so dumb when it comes to fishing that you learn from me because I make so many mistakes that you now don't have to make. So go ahead, hit the like and subscribe button if you want to uh, learn some more advanced techniques in future videos, y'all. Because I'm sure to mess some more stuff up that you guys now will not have to. Ooh, I think we're getting it. I mean, I'm going to have to go all the way down to the bottom of this spool here in a second. I think we're to the bottom of it, man. The line is tight on the spool. I'm going to now... It's very key when you get those backlashes to pinch that line kind of tight as you reel. That way it goes on the spool very tight instead of loose. Or you are just going to continue to get backlash after backlash if the line is not on that spool tight. Let's open this back up. Bing bong boom. Out, 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 out. Now all brakes are applied. Wow, we have tried and failed. Now we should be feeling real nice. Oh, that's... See, that's what we want right there. Yeah, so there's four plastic pieces inside the casing, and when you push those out, it actually activates them. You have the internal and external brakes on this thing, so you can really get this stuff dialed. Hey, so... I gotta fish on the big bait, dude. Oh my gosh, no way. On the battle shad, you're kidding. Oh, it's a big one. Dude, this is a big fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, dude. What? 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 <laughs> Oh Did that just, God. is this real life right now? Ryan Riggs, get in here. <laughs> Battle Shad 7.5 on the new tracks. There is no way. You're making me, I'm playing on this. Okay. Okay. What a subtle little tick too, dude. Just a small bite, but the weight was there. I cranked down a little bit. Boom, I didn't even think that hook set was powerful enough to bring it in. Wow. It's bigger than five, but I don't know how much bigger. Oh, wow. Inhaled the Battle Shad 7.5, you guys absolutely crushed it just giving this fish a breather we're gonna get a couple pictures and let her go what a fish even just the handle on this rod is 19 inches dude <laughs> it says two and a half pounds dude oh kilograms all right big girl there she goes slow and steady Woo! really don't even know what to think right now man oftentimes you go out <laughs> you know you treat yourself You've been fishing for a little while you decide i'm gonna go ahead and get me a dedicated swim bait reel i'm gonna get me a swim bait rod and i'm gonna get these big swim baits and i'm gonna go out there and try and catch a big fish and you don't know how long we've been doing this and we missed some of these bigs and wow it just all came together right there very quickly out here at the big fish pond don't even know what to say absolutely thrilled with this combo and that flashy swimmer on these big baits has given me so much more confidence it's crazy but I really like that underspin on these big swim baits. It's a 10 aught flashy swimmer, you guys. Owner Beast Hooks. I'll link it down in the description. If you guys want to check out these working class zero baits, I think they're dropping some citizens next. They just did a run on the battle shads, and I didn't buy any more because we had bought like five the last time. They're fairly expensive. So I said, we got to at least use these and get some time in with them. And we fished them a handful of times, man. No fish yet. First time ever catching one on the battle shad 7.5. Just absolutely stoked right now. And on the new reel, new line, breaking in the setup right. Good thing I tightened down that drag. There would have been no chance, dude. No chance. <laughs> Ryan and I are pumped, man. Let's keep walking the bank. I'm going to try and do the exact thing again. Just cast out deep and let it sink real and slow. Dude, breaking it in. Teeth marks. She's got an eye torn up. I mean, the tail was all the way down the gullet. That was just... Whew. All right. Let's shut up and start fishing again. All right. Reel up the slack. Kind of pop the rod tip just to get its nose above any grass it might be in. And then slow crank, man. That's exactly what I was doing on that last cast. All right, well, making our way over to the uh, other side of the pond, y'all. Another one. Another one, bro. Oh no! I don't know what happened. Oh my gosh, I had two hits on in one night. Second one of the evening, guys. How crazy was that? I know what I was gonna do. I was gonna take, this is not smart to do by the way, in case the bass hits while it's falling, but 
I was gonna engage one of those that way I've got a little bit more distance because I am feeling like it's fighting some resistance on the cast now that I'm kind of getting it dialed in I think I could get a little bit more out of it seems like it's getting held back by the brakes just a little bit oh that's much better oh yeah it's feeling real good now it's a different bite on these you literally almost always feel because the bass are generally speaking big enough to just inhale these that all you feel is their lips closing on the line and so you have to like you want to keep your rod in line with it and they almost kind of just pull against the drag and you feel that little pull that little pull and then you you want to crank down real fast a lot of times the fish the reason you don't feel it is because they're swimming towards you they come at it from behind and they just they're following it and then they decide to just eat it and, and so motion. and so they stay in motion and you don't feel it so what happens is if you if you feel that tick and you set the hook right away sometimes the fish is swimming towards you you set the hook and the apex of the hook set is like back here because the fish is swimming towards you so this is why the swim bait guys say if you feel if you feel that if you feel anything like that little tick you crank down and go with that because some people don't crank down and which case you could swing on it and not even drive the hook through because the hooks on these the beast hooks on the big swim baits are so thick yeah. it takes more driving force yeah. and so of course they're all throwing like eight foot or eight foot six rods this is a 710 but it gets the job done that got the guy that uh, that makes these though he pretty much always throws the battle shads and he's got nine inch ones too he'll throw battle shad nine inch all day and he's always throwing an eight foot six rod like if it's not like eight and a half or eight foot is like short to him yeah the scorpion uh mgl yep. yeah there he jack, goes jack, 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 jack. jackal oh you better bring him in you better bring him in boy that's a big oh, oh my god <laughs> i got the footage that's a big dude that's like a three pounder we're just chatting it up were you slow just slow reeling it just straight up bringing in <laughs> 3.10 3.10 oh dude all right Ryan knocking out them three pounders on the Jackal Gantrail Jr., which I haven't thrown in a while, but this is just a beautiful spot, man. Look at this, like, almost grass flat. I mean, they've got so much time to just creep in after it and smack it exactly like what happened when he least expected it. <laughs> yep. Almost a $500 setup, man. Pays off. I mean, I think the reel was about $200 uh, with tax, maybe slightly over. Rod was about $175 with tax. The line, freaking $35 line, Seaguar Brazex, but, you know, I consider it worth it. And then we got, oh, the bait. It's like a $55 working class zero bait. And then the hook is probably worth like 10 bucks. These owners aren't too cheap. Uh, I guess it's a two pack. Oh! Oh my God, there's a bass on it. There's a bass on it. There's a bass on it. A bass just chased it up here, dude. I think he's just swam out. Hey, throw your, throw your, throw in, throw your, uh, whatever in here. Yeah. I mean, he was only like two pounds, but he was trying to eat it. That was insane. He would be all over that. He must have swam back out. Yeah, man. So we just decided to kind of treat ourselves with some bigger swim bait setups. Devin and I now have the same uh, system we are rocking. And uh, it feels good, man, to have the gear appropriate for the situation. You try and throw these big baits on the uh, standard gear. And we talked about it a lot in recent episodes, but you will definitely have issues. Whether you're snapping your rods because they can't handle the stuff or you're getting less distance because of it, or maybe you get the fish of a lifetime and throwing a big bait on your standard, like seven, two medium heavy, and you end up not getting the hooks that you need to drive these big hooks home, or you're using a reel that has lackluster gears. And what's gonna happen is you can easily break your reel uh, when you're throwing these bigger baits and tackling these bigger fish. And uh, yeah, man, it just, it, it feels good to reward yourself. I guess, what am I even saying? I guess rewarding myself for making all these videos. I'm busting my ass working harder than I really ever have on my job just to make a video a day or as close to it as possible. Um, you know, easily 80 hours a week just between all the photos, all the replies, all the videos, all the editing time, um, the thinking of the next video. It just feels like it's an all day, every day thing. It's just absolutely crazy that we came out here and caught a big fish on it because, you yeah, know, just because you want to catch a big fish doesn't mean you're going to catch a big fish. What an awesome day with the new gear. Everything is going to be linked down in the description for you guys as well if you want to check this stuff out for yourselves i'm going to put the tranks the rod i'm going to go ahead and put the line i'm going to put the baits everything in the description a lot of stuff is selling out of course with covid so if you do want to purchase it i suggest getting on it because there's not a lot out there online right now man i'm just I'm, all this fishing stuff is going like crazy off the shelves i got lucky this rod was even in a local store that i found it in but online you'll be able to find it yeah amazon's gonna have it for sure and then when it comes to these working class zeros you're gonna have to get on their website click that link and you're gonna have to sign up for the newsletter if you don't do that you're gonna miss out on these baits if you try and go buy these they're all sold out okay so he just does limited runs mike out in california who makes these awesome swim baits when they go on sale they sell out in minutes and if you're not on the site and ready you're not going to get them so i'm just 
go ahead and heed my warning when these new citizens drop i definitely want to stock up on some more since we're getting low on the citizens and so i'm gonna be competing against you guys over there on the website trying to get my order in so be ready man oh ryan ryan there you go top water Just had a bite. Just had a bite. It's been a minute. All right, probably a small one. Man, what a crazy video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Out there fishing with my buddy Ryan Rigged. If you guys have not checked him out, absolutely go give him a look down in the description. I'm going to have all of his social media. And also, if you want to pick up the gear, check it out down below. Last but not least, if you guys enjoyed this video, if it provided any value, if you think a friend of yours could get some value out of it, please do me a solid and hit the share button. Drop a like, subscribe. You guys know the drill. We'll catch you on the next episode. Peace. <gasps>